Welcome back everyone. In this video, let's understand how Formic helps us with managing our form state. Now what do I mean by that? We know that our YouTube form has three fields, name, email and channel. At the moment though, we are not tracking the values of these form fields. When we type in something, the value of the field changes. And in React, if a value changes, we need a state variable for that. We need state variables for name, email, and channel. Or collectively, we can call that as the form state. The form state is nothing but an object which maintains the value of the different form fields. If we change the name to Vishwas, it should be reflected in the form state object. If we change the email to v at example.com, the form state again should be updated. Similarly, change channel to code evolution and the same should be reflected in our form state. If you are able to manage this form state, we can eventually submit this data when the user clicks on the submit button. Our goal in this video is to learn how Formic helps us manage this form state whenever the form field value changes. Let's go back to VS Code and understand that. Let me quickly recap what we have so far. We have a component called YouTube form and in the JSX, we have a form with three form fields, name, email, and channel. We've imported the use formic hook from formic and we have called that hook passing in an object an empty one right now. And I have mentioned that the use formic hook returns an object which we are storing in a constant called formic. And this object contains the properties and methods for us to manage our form state. Let's see how. The first step is to pass in a property called initial values in the object we pass to the use formic hook. So the property is initial values. This is camel cased. The initial values property is an object. This object contains the initial values for all our form fields. Name, empty string, email, empty string, channel, empty string. It is very important to note that the properties for initial values correspond to the name attribute of the individual fields, name, email, and channel. So step one, pass in the initial values for your form fields. Step two, we need to add the on change and the value prop for each of the form fields. This is required to ensure the form fields are tracked in React by Formic. Let's start with the name field. On change prop and value prop. Now this is where the formic constant comes into picture. For on change, we assign formic dot handle change. And for value, we specify formic dot values dot name. Once you do this, Formic will automatically track the form field values for you. Let's do the same for the other two fields as well. For email, on change is equal to formic dot handle change. Value is equal to formic dot values dot email. Finally, for our channel field, on change is going to be equal to formic dot handle change again and then the value is going to be formic dot values dot channel now this name email and channel again correspond to the name attribute name email and channel i'm going to quickly format this and in the render method I'm going to add a log statement where we log form values formic dot values. 
So we want to take a peek into what formic.values actually is, which we are using here for our value prop. All right, let's save the file and test this out in the browser. I'm going to open the console and on page load, the first thing I want you to notice is the formic.values object. It is an object where the key corresponds to the name attribute of the form field and then the value of that form field. Initially, this is nothing but the initial values object we have specified. If I start typing in the name, you can see that the name property now updates with the value. Update email. And the same happens. Finally, the channel name. So you can see that this formic.values is an object which always reflects the state of the form. This is what we are feeding back as the value to the form fields. Right here. The handle change method is formix helper to update the values object. Now if I set the initial values for name to be Vishwas, we can see that on page load, the name is already set to Vishwas, which is reflected in the values object. This is pretty much how Formic manages the form state. Let me go over it one more time so that you have a proper understanding. Step one, we pass in the initial values to our use Formic hook. The properties must match the name attribute of the form fields. Name email and channel. This initial values object is mandatory. Second step, we need to add the on change and the value attribute or props to all the fields that need to be tracked. The on change prop is equal to a formic helper method called handle change. This method will basically read the name attribute and update the corresponding property in the values object. The values object will contain values for all the form fields. We then access each of them individually and assign it to the values prop on each of the form fields. So the flow is as follows. First, take the values from initial values object and set that in the values object. Then when you change the form field values, the on change event is triggered which fires the handle change method, which will update the values object. When the values object updates, it is passed back into the form field. This cycle ensures that the form state is managed correctly. So at any point in time, formic.values will give us access to the form data. Keep that in mind. All right, now that we are able to manage this form state in the next video, let us see how we can get hold of this data so as to submit the form. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.